hello everyone how are you all in this class we are going to start quantum yield what is quantum yield let's start quantum yield qy refer to as refer to the efficiency of converting absorbed light into the emitted light which can be in the form of fluorescence quantum yield phi is defined as the ratio of the number of photons emitted to the number of photon absorbed notably quantum yield is dependent of the instrument setting and described how effectively a fluorophore convert the excitation light excitation light into fluoresc fluorescence number of defined events occur per photon absorbed by the system the integral quantum yield is this is the formula to find the quantum yield number of events upon number of photon absorbed for a chemical reaction for a photochemical reaction phi lambda is equals to amount of reactant um, amount of reactant consumed or product formed upon number of photon absorbed since this is a ratio the limit of phi varies from 0 to 1 important strictly the term quantum yield applies only for monochromatic excitation this quant this quantum yield apply karenge hum monochromatic excitation phi phi can be used for photophysical processes such as an example intersystem crossing fluorescence phosphorescence or photophysical reaction quantum yield quantum yield are of two types low quantum yield high quantum yield low quantum yield is when when the number of molecule decompose is less than 1 per photon energy it means when this number is less than 1 then it's called low quantum yield and when it is greater than 1 for photon then it's called high quantum yield when more than one molecule decompose per photon energy that is phi is greater than 1 reason for low quantum yield reason kya hai is low photon quantum yield excited molecule excited molecule may lose their energy by collision with non excited molecule that means excited energy state becomes so what deactivated since activation would uh, require more energy as a result more photon energy is required to activate the molecule since hence phi is less than 1 in some cases molecule may not receive sufficient energy to enable them to product recombination of the dissociated fragment products will be will give low quantum yield value in the photolysis of br2 and h2 phi hbr is very low that is about 0.01 Br2 plus H nu Br2 Br radical Br plus H2 it gives HBr H radical endothermic H plus Br2 HBr plus Br radical reason for high quantum yield when phi is greater than 1 absorption of radiation in the primary process produces atoms or free radicals which initiates a series of chain action the product formed in the excited with the with the second molecule with the second molecule and transfer its energy similarly second molecule in the excited state transfer its energy in this way chain reaction is start and the number of reacting molecule will be high but the number of photon energy remains same hence phi is greater than 1 if in the excited state there is formation of intermediate product which catalyst and enhances the rate of reaction if the reaction is exothermic in nature the heat energy is evolved activate other molecule which absorb with absorption of additional quanta of radiation then phi is greater than 1 in the photolysis of cl2 and h2 phi hcl is very high that is about 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 5 primary process 
Cl negative Cl radical plus H2 gives the exothermic reaction and we get HCl plus H radical. Secondary process H radical plus Cl2 gives HCl and Cl radical. This Cl radical and Cl radical become bond together and get Cl2. Exemplars we will do in next class. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.